Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another watch list. Basically, think of this as a monthly TV guide for me to let you know what and when TV shows that I'm interested in, that maybe you're interested in, are coming out. Like always, in the description down below, I'll include links to any trailers that are available to anything that I bring up during this watch list. On August 5th, on Netflix, we have The Sandman, which is probably, no, definitely the thing I'm looking forward to the most this month. Uh, I've been so excited for this. I've never read the comics, but I've always loved the concept of what this series is. And then from what we saw in the date announcement and what we saw in the uh, official trailer, I am so pumped. Obviously, it's only a week away at, well, you know, at the time of me recording, it's even less so by the time this actually goes up. But I'm I'm so excited. Is this cosmic journey of the different realms and you know dream you know bringing back all these nightmares and everything that's kind of escaped into the waking world while he, um, he was captured. So it just seems like it's going to be a large scale you know celestial journey, which I think is kind of what that story is. But I it just the visuals, just the nature of everything. I am so, so pumped for this. On August 10th on Sci-Fi, we have the return of Resident Alien Season 2. We got the back half of the season, the second, uh, the next eight episodes, which I'm so pumped to have um, Resident Alien back. I have not seen the trailer. It's out. Well, I watched it just long enough to like, I closed my eyes. I was like, okay, date announcement, date announcement, and got the date, and I was like, no, nope, that's it. I avoided seeing anything in the trailer uh, just because I want to go in not knowing anything. Uh, but uh, obviously picking up, you know, everything with Harry um, having a pseudo child that he's, well, not pseudo, a straight up child that he's having to take care of. The complicated circumstance him and Asta ended up finding themselves in at the end of the first half of the season. Um, just kind of all that Harry, the real Harry Vanderspiegel was like mixed up in is kind of coming back to kind of haunt all of them. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what the back half of this season looks like. Once again, anyone who watched the trailer has a better idea, but once again, I didn't want to know anything. So Also on August 10th on Netflix, we have the third and final season of Lock and Key, which I'm also very excited about. I actually uh, did a video yesterday, a recorded video yesterday, sharing some thoughts and theories about the final season. Uh, that should be coming out later this week, uh, Wednesday. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm excited to see how things play out. It seems like, I, I said it during my thoughts and theories, it seems like this is going to be the time travel season. And so, it's going to be interesting with uh, this introduction of this new key, but also Gideon stepping in as the main antagonist and what that all means and, you know, how the locks handle this challenge. Uh, I, I, someone that is getting stronger and stronger with every key that he gets from them so it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens this third and final season and how they end up wrapping up the show also on august 10th there's a new series called school tales the series it's this interesting um horror anthology series that uh takes place at a school like eight different stories uh based on what they were saying in the trailer it seems like they're pulled from uh comics but i couldn't find the original at least the little I did look up about a week or so ago, I couldn't find any of the the comics that this is based on to see if it was like out there or not. Um, but uh, I mean, just from what we saw, it seemed pretty horrifying and grotesque, and they seemed like really interesting, dark uh, stories. I believe this is a Taiwanese series, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong, I, but I, I, I believe I'm, I'm right on that. But uh, anyway, it just seems interesting. Once again, I'm not the biggest anthology person, but it seemed interesting, and uh, I'm curious, is there going to be like a like connective thread between any of the stories, or are they just going to be completely separate? It's going to be interesting to see. Also, on August 10th, on Disney Plus, we have the I Am Groot shorts coming out, which obviously the trailer came out during San Diego Comic-Con. Just simply adorable. Um, I, I, was, I was curious at the time whether or not the shorts are all coming out at the same time. It seems like they're all dropping on August 10th as well. So either way, they just look like fun little misadventures that Groot's going to be on. I, I didn't even think about it at the time, but it's like, right, he's baby Groot, so this has to be around um guardians volume two to some extent so either way i i'm uh, just it, like i said it just looks fun and adorable little shorts and i'm excited to see what they are in their uh full capacity on august 14th on amc we have tales of the walking dead this being the new anthology series there is an official trailer out but i haven't seen anything of it kind of don't want to see anything i don't want to kind of take away from any of the stories um 
but I, I got in a peak, I want to say a promo drop for it, like, around the time maybe Fear the Walking Dead was still airing its seventh season. I saw a little bit, so I was, I've seen some of the people in it, like, I think I saw Olivia Munn, I saw, um... Terry Crews, just for example. So I mean, I'm just really interested to see. Um, I'm also curious, and I, once the trailer probably answered this, but I'm curious, like where in the timeline of the Walking Dead universe, where some of these stories might take place, and will they reference? Will there be any reference to some of the other stories, or will they be completely isolated? Not just within like the connection. Will there be any connective tissue between each of these stories, but also like the greater universe? Like, will there be any references to world beyond? Um, the original Walking Dead or even Fear the Walking Dead, stuff like that. On August 16th on the CW, we have Devil Season 2, which obviously this was supposed to come out, I want to say the end of June. So this got pushed back like a month and a half, I think, maybe. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I'm definitely going to have to rewatch Season 1. I kind of pushed that off because I kept being like, oh, like Season 2 wasn't around the corner like I thought it was. But I mean, we're finally getting it. I'm excited. Massimo finally is, like, in charge. He took his boss down, who was kind of like a friend and mentor to him for so long. But that mentor, uh, Patrick Dempsey's character, is not taking this uh, lightly. He's going to do everything he can to destroy Massimo. Uh, because uh, I'm, I'm curious what the time frame difference is. Because I know the first season took place in 2008. I, I, I remember, I saw the trailer, and there's some technological stuff that's coming up that they're trying to take advantage of at this time and I'm trying to remember what it was but it just seems like yo like once again it's it's heavy wearing the crown right so he's he's finally at the top and the question is like so many people want to drag you down and how you got there there's a lot of regrets on how you got there and what it cost you along the way so it's definitely going to be interesting to see all that goes down in season two because it's obviously it's already aired internationally so that's just um this is it first airing at least here in the u.s on august 17th on disney plus we have she hulk attorney of law i'm so excited for she hulk it just looks so much fun plus it's tatiana miss lonnie and i i'm obsessed you know i love orphan black so i'm just like hell yeah i'm, I'm so happy that she's uh that uh she's she hulk uh but it just it just seems fun and i mean they even said it themselves that this is going to be the mcu's first straight up comedy so that's definitely going to be interesting um especially kind of getting like a law show and all of that like obviously we got a, a little taste of that with daredevil but fully leaning into that and fully leaning leaning into the comedy and with this latest trailer her breaking the fourth wall and how they utilize that and like it seemed once again it seemed like in the trailer like she was almost like wait did i just do that it looks exciting and i'm just i'm so pumped obviously a lot of people are excited at that little stinger at the end of the official trailer and what that means in the grand scheme of everything but yeah uh i'm just i'm just excited and just because it just seems like it's so much fun on august 19th on netflix we have this new series called cleo it actually kind of reminds me a little bit of young uh gotten youngie uh killing eve it rem uh, the character cleo she kind of reminds me of villanelle that basically she's like this international assassin i want to say for russia maybe and um it's during kind of like um and well and they kind of leave her high and dry like after they no longer need her like things in the grand scheme of the world are shifting and they're trying to get rid of her and she's kind of on like a revenge tour trying to like find out who tried to get rid of her or fire her because this is all she's ever really known once again like when you look at the trailer like oh you definitely get villanelle vibes from this character which just seems so interesting and obviously there's the things of like yes yeah, some of this actually happened which i'm like oh that's interesting i'll probably look into it any in any historical accuracies because obviously it's a show they're going to take a lot of liberties but any historical accuracies they i will probably look into after the fact after i watch it but from what i just saw uh from the trailer it just seemed really interesting so i'm excited to kind of check out and see what the show is really all about also on august 19th on freebie uh freebie being the um um uh, imdb T, it's, it's the same thing they just changed its name uh there's a new series called sprung which i'm very excited to check out basically it's uh some people just getting out of prison and they end up kind of having nowhere to go and this lady kind of ends up taking them all in i think it's one of the people i think it's one of their one of their moms ends up taking them in and they end up kind of like planning heist and stuff like that it seems like an interesting uh comedy is actually i've never seen it but i know it's uh it's starring people from raising hope and it's from the same creators because i know like um 
God, uh, John Dory himself from The Walking Dead, John Dory Jr. himself from The Walking Dead is in it, but I know like he was in Raising Hope and um, the mother uh, in the show, um, one of the other like uh, convicts, like his mother, uh, as I know, was also from it. But just from what I saw in the trailer, I was like, oh, this seems really interesting, seems fun. So it just it seemed like a little nice romp that I, I'm excited to check out when it drops. On August 22nd on AMC, we have the second and final season of Kevin Can F Himself, which I'm so excited about because I was completely blindsided when I saw like a trailer was out for it. I was like, wait, what? Once again, did not watch any of it because I don't want to watch anything. I want to go into this season knowing as little as possible. Um, I'm glad at least going into this knowing it was going to be the second and final season at the very least. So I'm kind of bummed it's only two seasons, but it's like, hey, look, getting what we got and already going to this knowing it's the final season. Uh, season one ended off on a big cliffhanger like, where's this going to go? How this all going to play out? Don't think it's all going to work out for Allison. You hope for the best, but you kind of expect the worst. And it's just like, we'll see how that all uh, plays out. Uh, once again, I'd have a better idea going into this season of what to expect, but I'm fine with it. I don't need to know. I'm, I'm just so excited to have this show back. I just love the structure of the show, and I'm, I'm so excited to see what happens in the second and final season. On August 25th on FX, we have a new series, an animated series, Little Demon. Essentially, this middle schooler, she finds out that she's the Antichrist, that her dad's the devil, and just kind of all the twisted, crazy shenanigans that come along with that because her mom wants her to have nothing to do with it maybe uh and so like both of her parents are i think kind of potentially fighting for her soul her mother wanting her to have nothing to do with it and then her father just being like no uh become the evil that you're meant to be so uh it's audrey plaza uh danny devito and I'm, i can only assume um Danny DeVito's uh, kid. I don't know how many kids he actually has. I don't know if it's like one or two, but either way, then there's like a long list of like uh, other celebrities, uh, other well-known actors, uh, voicing characters in the show. But uh, just seem like, just wanted, once again, those weird twisted cartoons that I'm just excited to check out. And finally, on August 31st on the CW, we have season three of DC Stargirl, which I'm so excited about. I was shocked to find, cause I knew it was coming out this fall. I think that the like, teaser for that like dropped at the end of Superman and Lois I think like you know like a preview for it came out after like the credits start rolling for Superman and Lois season two but um yeah I'm so excited once again did not watch the trailer obviously caught a little promo stuff here and there like the promo I was watching mainly focused on you know Starman is now training Courtney uh to fully uh utilize all that she's capable of uh, but it, to, uh, um, they set it up last season what the subtitle for this season is going to be. I, I don't think it's changed. I mean, once again, I haven't looked into it, but it's Frenemies because a lot of enemies became allies last season. So that's definitely going to be interesting. I'm also curious to see what happens because a lot of people are picking up the pieces of last season. I think they were on their way there, but I still think there's still a lot of like um, things that are kind of broken and messed up after last season that a lot of the characters... The uh, just, uh, uh, Justice Society has to kind of start piecing themselves back together. And I'm sure that's going to be a main through line this season, maybe. Obviously, we also got introduced to what I'm uh, guessing is the main antagonist of this season was by Keith David, which is like, that's sick all on its own. So, either way, I am very, very excited to have uh, DC Stargirl back, and I'm so excited to see what uh, this season has in store for us. And that pretty much brings this month's watch list to an end, like always. If there's something that's coming out that maybe I wasn't aware of, that you're aware of, that you think maybe me or someone else would be interested in, don't be afraid to leave it in the comments down below. But really, that's all I want to talk about until next time we meet. Be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and good night.